Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats, we're back at it again today. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can create ghost notes slash ghost channels in Logic Pro X so you can easily create chord progressions and melodies right after this. So let's talk a little bit about what ghost notes actually are. The way I'm using this term actually derives from FL Studio. In FL Studio, you have the ability of using um, scale helpers as well as ghost channels so that you can, on your piano roll, see an entire scale and just easily click in your MIDI notes to create these chord progressions or melodies. Time and time again, I've been hit up by a lot of subscribers in my comments asking me if there was a way to uh, use Ghost Notes in Logic Pro X or if Logic would ever update their software so that you could use Ghost Note channels. And the answer is it's been there all along and I figured out a workaround in order to uh, use that same technique. And it's a really awesome technique for people that don't know music theory and just wanna be able to create some really good music. So with that being said, let's have a look at the piano roll that I have currently up in my Logic Pro X session and let's play that, uh, that chord progression that I created uh, using the scale helper. So as you can see here in the Logic Pro X uh, piano roll, we have some lightly beige colored notes in the background that almost look grayed out in a sense that are all in a specific key and scale. And the key and scale that I'm using for this uh, tutorial right now is the F sharp G flat natural minor scale. And then you see these green MIDI notes uh, that I put in here using that scale in order to come up with this chord progression and melody structure. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I was able to uh, get these ghost channels in there in order to create that uh, that chord progression. So I'm gonna make the piano roll a little bit smaller first so we could take a look at the play area and see what's happening here. I have two uh, software instrument instances as you can see right here. This first one uh, actually is the layer with the ghost uh, notes on them. And the bottom layer is an instance of Omnisphere where I have the chord progression on. If I click on these individually, you're not gonna be able to see uh, both of them together, right? <clears throat> so in order to see both of them together, what you need to do is highlight them like this. This way you could see both the scales as well as the MIDI notes uh, that you're gonna be able to put in. So let's go ahead and break this structure down so you could replicate it in your Logic Pro X sessions. Let's push this over to the side for a second. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is download my Ghost Notes for Logic Pro X free pack. I'll put a link in the card so you can go ahead and download that. Once you've downloaded that, all you need to do is unzip it and then open up that uh, that folder. Within that folder, you'll see a natural minor scales folder. And there are a bunch of scales in here that you can import into Logic. And I'm going to use that same scale again. So that was the F sharp G flat minor scale, natural minor scale. Just going to drag that in like this. And in order to create those ghost notes, I'm just going to need to loop it. So what I basically did was uh, loop off the five to nine bar section so that underneath I can create a new MIDI region like this. Make sure that track is enabled, then highlight both of them. And now you can easily put in uh, some chords. So this was in the uh, key of F sharp G flat. So I'm gonna start that off with the root. And all I need to do is now uh, basically skip over one of the grayed out uh, notes and go to the next one. Same like this. Now we have a chord and I can go ahead and can continue with this. Let's go ahead and draw in another chord. You can highlight these and drag them over like that. We could also bring these down an octave. So just highlight them and bring them down an octave like so. I'm using the alt shift and then down arrow in order to bring them down one octave. Now I can go ahead and add some um, counter melodies here. And 
And that's basically it. That's how easy it is to uh, replicate that same function that you have in FL Studio in Logic. I hope you guys like this workaround. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Put those in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you're notified anytime I upload some new content. My name is CJ Beats, and I'm out for now. Peace.